In this video, we're going to take this nice looking template from the Breakdance Design Library and remix it using elements and extensions from Elements Hive, turning it from this into this. The remixed version remains faithful to the original design, but adds some subtle motion for a more dynamic flow and some animated elements to help direct the user's attention to specific parts of the page. Okay, let's get started. First, we want to download the architect template from the Breakdance Design Library. Now that that's finished, let's look at the home page that we will be working on and delete any sections that we don't need. Like this new section. Since we don't have any posts on this demo site, we can get rid of it. The page has different sections with alternating backgrounds using the same two colors. This makes it a great fit for the on-scroll color switcher element from Elements Hive, offering a dynamic twist to the otherwise monotonous design with very little effort. We will start by giving each section a unique CSS class that we can later reference in our on-scroll color switcher element. The on-scroll color switcher works with any valid CSS selectors, here I'm using CSS classes, but you can also use IDs or data attributes. Next, we're going to add the on-scroll color switcher element via the add panel. I will define a default background color using the same blue color that we have in the hero section. Next comes the triggers. Each trigger represents a background color transition and an optional text color transition. In this case, each trigger will reference the CSS classes that I created earlier to target each section sequentially as the user scrolls the page. Hmm, looks like the background color doesn't change as expected in some sections. This is due to the fact that the template has a background color defined in the settings of these elements. Looks better. Now the background color will change according to the triggers defined earlier in the on-scroll color switcher element. Next, we want the text elements that are visible during the background color transitions to also alternate between the two colors so that they are always visible no matter which background color is active. I will add a couple of convenience classes for the text colors. This step is not necessary, and you could just assign a color via the element's color setting directly instead. Let's tackle the first transition from the Hero section to the About section. I will assign a default color using the Helper class that was just created. Then, I'll add another CS class that can be referenced inside the on-scroll color switcher for the text color transition trigger. All the text elements in this part will share the same CSS class for the text color transition. So when the on-scroll color switcher trigger is activated, all the elements that have this CSS class will have their color change accordingly. I'm going to do the same for all the text elements that are visible in the viewport during the transition in both the About and Hero sections. The text elements in the Hero section already have the tertiary color applied, so we won't need to add our helper color class for these elements. Only the CSS class used for the text color transition is needed.
Inside the on-scroll color switcher, under the trigger for the About section, I will add a color target using the custom CSS class that we created in the previous step and assign the color we want the text elements to change to when this trigger is activated. Let's change the trigger location to 30%. This means that when the top of the About section reaches 30% from the bottom of the screen, the trigger will be activated. This way, we can see the text from both sections for a bit longer. I forgot to include the text at the top of the Hero section. Let's add the Color Switch class to it and manually refresh the on-scroll color switcher element using the Refresh button under the Builder Helpers category so that the new text element is also taken into account. Now the text elements in both the Hero and About sections are always visible. We need to repeat the same process for all sections where we have text that needs to be visible before and after a background color change. I'll speed up this next part. Feel free to slow the playback speed if you need to. Okay, now we have our background changing colors based on the triggers that we defined, and the text content that is in the viewport during these background color transitions is always visible. Next, we're going to spice up the hero section with a bit of motion. Using Elements Hive's mouse track extension will make those static sphere images start moving slightly based on the user's mouse movement. I'll give each sphere a different direction and just play around with the settings until I find a combination I'm happy with. The other element in the hero section that I want to give a bit of motion to is the big architecture heading that we have. This time, I will add a scale transition using the default breakdance scrolling animation. Again, I will fiddle around with the settings until I find a combination that I'm happy with for now. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with the hero section for now. We've added a bit of motion to certain elements, making the first section a site visitor would see a bit more interactive and enticing them to discover the page further. In our About Us section, we currently have a static image and a tab element showcasing the firm's expertise. The tab design is minimalistic, using a thin vertical line to highlight the active tab. However, some users might miss this indicator during a quick scan. To address this, I'm replacing the static image with the WebGL slideshow from Elements Hive. This will offer multiple images and cool transitions, encouraging users to explore the section further. This way, they'll have more time to discover the content beyond just the first tab. I will keep the default transition effect and just change the direction so that the effect travels toward the content section for now.
I want to do something with this big image separator, but, um, I'm not so sure right now, so we'll come back to it later. For the project section and architect section, I think they look pretty good as they are. We could potentially add some entrance animation or scroll animation to make them more dynamic, but we won't be doing that in this demo. For the FAQ section, just like we did in the About Us section, we want to entice the users to spend more time here. I will replace the static image with another WebGL slideshow element. In this instance, the image has some custom height defined for different breakpoints. We will replicate the same settings in the WebGL slideshow element so that the current responsive design stays intact. Okay, I think it's looking pretty good. We can now go back to the image separator we saw before. I will add a mask morpher element from Elements Hive and make it the parent of the separator image. The element will apply a mask on the image, and we can morph the mask between different predefined states using either an entrance animation or a scroll animation. In this case, the mask will be morphed using a scroll animation. Okay, that should be good enough for this demo. Let's look at the result on the front end. Without deviating from the original design, we made the page more interesting and dynamic. To recap, we added some motion to the hero section to make it more lively. We replaced some static images with the WebGL slideshow to grab the user's attention and entice users to spend more time in those sections in order to discover the valuable text content they contain. We used the on-scroll color switcher to transition the background and text colors dynamically while users scroll the page. We also added some scrolling motion to give the page more ebb and flow. In combination with Breakdance, Elements Hives gives you unique and creative tools to help you craft new web experiences. But as we saw in this video, it can also be used to selectively spice up existing Breakdance pages and websites, enhancing the visuals and user experience without breaking the original design. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share it with friends or colleagues who can find it helpful.